Breaking news late today after that military fighter jet crashed right into a busy neighborhood in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Aircraft accidents like this one in Virginia Beach, Virginia are rare, but when they do occur, it is important to understand why. Many times, the answer can be found in the flight data recorder, commonly known as the black box. A black box is a flight data recorder, uh, actually any kind of recording device installed in aircraft that collects all the flight parameter data of the aircraft, attitude of the aircraft, pitch roll, flight control positions, engine speeds, fuel flow, whether the gear is up, down, flaps are deployed or extended, all the characteristics of the aircraft during the entire flight. Despite its name, the black box is actually orange colored, making it more visible at a crash site. It is made of titanium or stainless steel material designed to protect audio and sometimes video data subjected to extreme conditions. The box is built to withstand 1100 degrees centigrade fire for one hour, 260 degrees centigrade up to 10 hours, 3400 G's of impact force, 5000 pounds of crush force, and to survive under the sea for 20,000 feet below the water for up to 30 days. Those are like the worst case scenarios. And if it can't withstand those environments, then the data could be lost. Today, many military aircraft carry a voice and data recorder, but it's not enough to simply carry the box. You have to ensure that it works. And that's the job of the Common Flight Information Recorder Analysis Lab at Naval Air Station Patuxent River. We have a requirement that any aircraft that carries passengers should have a, a yearly analysis of its data to ensure that all systems are recording properly, which is important when you're doing an accident investigation. The CIPRL team performs an annual review for an estimated 400 military aircraft to identify potential safety issues prior to a mishap. If an aircraft does crash, the team is responsible for extracting the black box data. It's a challenging task, especially when the unit sustains damage like the one from the Hornet crash in Virginia Beach. To figure out why, what happened, why did that airplane crash? What happened? Did something go wrong? Was it mechanical? Was it pilot? We, we want to be able to prevent any future mishaps of the same type. Our job is to save lives. And we only have one chance to get it right. So if you only have one chance to get it right, you better do it right. <laughs> Every scenario is different. There's no one scenario that is the same or one approach. So in a variety of techniques that we have, we have to select what is best given the problem. Once the data is extracted, it's handed over to a team of NAVIR experts who decode and analyze the data and piece together a timeline of events leading up to the mishap. At NAVIR, we have the experts that help with the design and acquisition of that aircraft. And a lot of times when you have an aircraft that goes down, it's usually going beyond its uh, operational limits. And so you need to tap into those experts that help define and build that subsystem or that flight control system You've got those people here at NAVIR. The assist team can use the data pulled from the black box to create what-if scenarios that can be virtually recreated using the manned flight simulator. Sometimes we, an engineer, can do it by analysis, but most of the times we invite our, our test pilots to come over, we set up the scenario. Sometimes we even surprise them and don't actually tell them what's going to happen, just say come over for an evaluation, and then we, uh, we cause the same fault or a similar type fault and see how they react to it. A mishap analysis report is due to the designated Navy Aviation Mishap Board within 30 days of the aircraft incident. In addition to the analysis report, an animation of the event is provided to illustrate the elements that likely contributed to the crash. You're not creating the animation just for the fun of it. You're creating it because you want the viewer of the video to understand so that they can learn from it and say, okay, this is when he had this problem. I see the, the failure enunciation. I see the, the situation. You might have uh, audio dubbed in to, to hear the, maybe the radio calls and such, and it, it, it gives you a full appreciation. Uh, immerse yourself into the, the mishap, because that's how you learn the best, is by actually understanding it. The understanding comes from the, the animation. It's difficult to know the exact cause of every aircraft incident, but black box data analysis is critical to reducing mishaps in the future. You don't want to have an aircraft crash. I mean, that, that's, that's a given. And a lot of times you want to learn from it so that you can change something in design, change something in the procedure, the way we behave with the aircraft so that it doesn't happen again. 
you want to get the final story out as quickly as possible so the Navy Safety Board can make the right decision as to what happened and how can we prevent this from happening in the future.